you have to be honest. You look at so many things that you're allowed to do at 18, and buying a firearm uh, as a lawful citizen should be one of them. The Texas elementary school shooting reigniting the gun debate over ages now. And what age, or which age rather, adults should be able to buy assault-style weapons? Joining us now to discuss, radio host of This is America with Rich Valdez. Rich Valdez, also the author of the book you just saw, political strategist and author of The End of Democracy, Doug Schoen. Guys, thank you so much for coming thank on you. today. And you know what? Let's be honest. Likely we will not find a solution here on air uh, to the, the devastating school shootings that we've seen. But we can try. We can have a conversation about it and maybe put forward some solutions we think uh, might work best. The president has been very clear uh, that it's time to act. It's time for Congress to act. Uh, the president has long urged Congress to take action to fight uh, gun violence, including by expanding uh, background checks. It doesn't make sense for an 18-year-old uh, to legally buy an assault weapon. All right. Rich Valdez, I'll start with you. What do you think about that, the calls to perhaps raise the uh, purchasing age to 21? It's worthy of a conversation, but we have to be honest. You look at so many things that you're allowed to do at 18, and buying a firearm uh, as a lawful citizen should be one of them. Uh, but again, I'm I'm okay with taking a look at it and saying, hey, let's let's see what we've got to do here. You can't even rent a car till you're 25 in most situations. So definitely worth having a conversation. Doug, uh, the other uh, obstacle, or really a part of that conversation, is other people argue that, well, I can serve my country. They will hand me. Uh, a, a weapon. I can die for my country at the age of 18. Um, your thoughts on that as you legally become an adult at that time at 18 years old, does that infringe at any upon, uh, upon the Second Amendment in that discussion? You know, I think to have a limited ban on buying assault weapons at 18 is a prudent and reasonable step to take. Uh, I'm not for necessarily banning all gun purchases by people. Uh, 18 and over, but I don't really think 18-year-olds need assault weapons. To Rich's point, I'd rather have an 18-year-old rent a car than buy, buy an AK-47. Yeah, um, and again, in the case of the Uvalde school shooting, the gunman was 18. Most recently in Buffalo, New York, where we saw an 18-year-old male uh, shoot up a grocery store as well. It was a, a majority uh, minority community there, uh, black residents. So, Rich, you know, again, it, it does open the doors for conversation. We've heard from Mitch McConnell. He would like to see perhaps some bipartisan chatter between John Cornyn and Chris Murphy. Do you think there is hope for conversation about anything uh, that wouldn't infringe on people's Second Amendment rights? I don't know how much hope there is. Like I said, I'm willing to have the conversation, but I think it raises a few questions. Uh, number one, like I have uh, two daughters. One is about to be 17. The other one's about to be 21. I would love for both of them to be able to have a gun in their purse for their own personal safety. So thinking that a year from now that my kid won't be able to or the other one may just become eligible to, we, you know, we live in a state where you can't carry. So I think these are these are things that infringe on the Second Amendment. So it, it, you have to have the conversation, you have to have the debate over, is it constitutional, is it legal? Uh, so many people, myself included, argue that so many states go way too far and go beyond the pale. But it's our system of federalism that gives states these power, and we the people have to rise up if we don't like what's happening. All right, um, unfortunately we are out of time, Doug. I, otherwise I'd love to hear from you on this, but we do appreciate your time. Uh, that's Rich Valdez. Thank you. Doug Schoen, thank you so much, we do appreciate that. All right, a new hour starts right after this quick break. We'll be right back.